What is the big update with UPS and this strike that could happen? And if it does happen, it's going to be the biggest strike that the nation's seen since 1997. Let's get into today's video. What's going on, mother truckers? Everybody's been waiting for a update on this uh, UPS uh, uh, strike that can happen. Uh, basically, their contract is over in August. And today is the last day for them to vote. So from June 7th all the way to June 15th, they've been going to the polls and voting yes or no on an authorization to strike. And a lot of local Teamsters have already had over a 99% rate that yes, if there is no deal, they will strike. So the Teamsters actually just released this just moments ago. They said, uh, can't stop, won't stop. UPS Teamsters uh, subcommittees push on a handful of subcommittees, including Teamsters rank and filters met throughout the day in Virginia with preparations underway to return to the national bargaining table with the UPS on Friday. The Teamsters National Negotiation Committee is finalizing the language for several new contract proposals as the union pushes towards tentative agreement soon for all non-academic articles. These, these Teamsters on the National Committee are not running out of gas. They are at this for the long haul. And basically, results of the UPS Teamsters nationwide strike authorization vote will be released on Friday. A yes vote would give the Teamsters National Committee the authority to call a strike in the event that UPS does not come to terms. Now, UPS actually is really nervous about this. Why? Because there's over 350,000 of these employees. And from that, there's over 128,000 reminder that are truck drivers. So when you look at this, you know, what makes them so concerned? Well, 100%, you know, when they get a yes, and by looking at what the local votes have been, it's going to be a yes. They are putting pressure on UPS. So much that UPS actually said that they will put AC in the truck. So if you didn't know this, actually those brown trucks that you see going down the way, they actually don't have AC in them. And 90,000 trucks don't have AC. So in the beginning of the year, they said, yeah, they were going to put in a fan. But now it looks like they have a tentative deal and it looks like there will be AC in these vehicles. So my truckers comment down below, but that's your update as of now. You know, it looks like UPS seems to want to work with them. But if UPS does not, it looks like they will have the authorization to strike. Mother truckers, comment down below.